to see what one action of protesting peacefully for change is huge. One peaceful action stitched together this image. It was important to highlight the significance of this day at this location in this state and then to couple that with where we are in terms of law enforcement and executive leadership uh, in the African American community across our state. Black leaders wearing a badge and carrying the title of chief, commander, or sheriff. Something impossible to do 61 years ago. We have to continue to move forward in, in that respect. After a summer of civil unrest, Winston Salem Police Chief Katrina Thompson pushed for these leaders to meet. She said now is the time to walk through the halls of the International Civil Rights Center and Museum and reflect. This is where the four came in. Where we've come from to where we are today, I thought was worth um, highlighting and acknowledging, not just for our current times, but for generations to come. We always need reminders. We always need reflection. Monday, Fayetteville Police Chief Gina Hawkins stood behind the Woolworths counter for the first time, a place where six decades earlier she would not have been able to sit. I've been doing this for 32 years, and I think, you know, I think being in there is my ability to do it from the inside. For others who have been here before, they say this visit gave them new perspective. You do have a chance, but the, the scale sometimes are still unbalanced, and we still have to work on those, those areas where there, there are inequities. We may change by making sure that everybody is involved. Everybody has a right to hear, be heard. Uh, we, ran, we present a positive change for Gifford County. In recent years, law enforcement agencies have reviewed and banned certain tactics, become more engaging and involved with African American communities and leaders, and created review boards to hold officers accountable. Still, local law enforcement agencies struggle to recruit. With all the negativity that's going on in, around the profession, um, I thought it was it would be important for them to see people that look like them in these positions. So where do we go from here? For these leaders, it's about uncomfortable conversations and using every opportunity to learn, grow, and climb. The baton's been handed to us at this point. So now we got to keep going for the future, our youth.